Hello, welcome back. Mr. Angus Wangus here. Please excuse me, I've been sick. Um, probably more sick in the head for making this video. Um, but I was laying there, you know, nothing to do but think. And, and please excuse me, I got like two Tylenol 3s in me to be able to do this. Um, but just laying there thinking, you know, a couple people commented about RF frequencies and, you know, uh, lighting the bulb under the water, and um, I disregarded it. I mean, f first off, in my brain, because I'm using that 2N3055 uh, transistor in my oscillator, which, you know, is in this frequency range it's a it's a radio frequency um, and and you know therefore I am you know I have a radio frequency going on there and so but then I lay in there thinking about it and then I thought of an arrangement that I should try because I was thinking I well I bet I could light the light bulb under the water um, with a normal arrangement, you know, and the way I'm going to do it is right here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a bit. Um, here's the secondary of the flyback. The cap is in parallel with the secondary output, and then I've got the spark gap and the resistor, which is the bulb, in series off the cap. And we're going to have a look at that. And I can. I can light the bulb like this in a conventional arrangement under the water. Now, I'm not sticking my hand in the bowl. You know, I'm not going to be that <laughs> brave. Maybe I can. I don't know. But I'm not doing it right now. But anyways, this is what I want to show you here today. Now, this doesn't mean that the Tesla setup isn't special. And I'm going to show that too. Um... I'm going to have another clip here in a minute of this setup with the bulb lit underwater in a normal fashion. Then I'm going to set it up and have another clip with the Tesla hairpin arrangement with the short circuit. And I'll short across the cap here and you'll see that it kills everything, right? And you'll see what the short difference is here. And we're going to look at the spark difference and the spark gap change difference. And just to say here off the hop, there are upgrades here that I want to try. And the very first one that came to mind there is the rotary gap. Find rotary gap here instead of the static gap. Find resonance, because this is a type of tank circuit, as are these. Um, so resonance will give a, a better output potential and who knows what on this side of the dielectrics. But you're going to see a difference in the sparks and reactions and you know there is something special going on here but I can light a bulb with the normal arrangement underwater. And I thought it was important to show you guys so I popped a couple pills and <laughs> here I am. Alright clip number two coming out right now. Okay here's a clip to show that series set up uh, like I was just showing so here's the output of the flyback uh, they're go the outputs are going to the caps in parallel with the output here and then I have the spark gap coming off this end coming over here and then it's in um, series with the resistor which is that light bulb and coming back to this side of the cap um, well I, this this lead here starts at the top I guess sorry starts up here goes through the spark gap through the resistor bulb and then back to this side of the cap and you'll see this bulb will light up under the water. So here we go. Let me get her fired up. So here's 
so there's there's no spark gap firing right now because I have the leads disconnected you'll notice that first so then I connect the lead and you see the spark jumps across as soon as I get it close enough to this bulb and I can hook it up and she's lit good right so then now I can take this and put it in the water as well and again I'm not putting my hands in there okay now that's under the water there's no arcing under there the bulbs lit our spark gap is firing still you know a normal arrangement the cap is in parallel with the output from the flyback and then the spark gap is coming off the capacitor and it's in series with the load underwater coming back to the capacitor so we're able to do it right and you see the spark gap reaction uh, well here let me get this out of the water get the bowl out of the way you already saw that and so when we disconnect the load there's no more spark gap rate obviously and what have you okay normal setup making the bulb um, the load work under the water with the normal type arrangement so there you go I had to show you that so now we're going to the next clip I don't want to make this too long um, next clip and then that'll be it I'm going to show a uh, Tesla's hairpin circuit and we'll see a couple differences there okay here we go forgot this is still the normal arrangement that I just showed I forgot that I wanted to show a short across the cap because we're going to show that with the Tesla setup so there we go spark gaps firing bulbs lit I have a lead on one end of the cap and I'm going to touch it to the other end we get a spark when we get close enough and nothing when we put it through right short circuit right spark gaps extinguished loads extinguished there you go just wanted to show that to go with everything okay here we go going to the next clip okay the arrangement I just showed was this one right here and again it it lift the bulb underwater now this is the arrangement I'm going to show next this is the Tesla hairpin with two capacitors the loads separate from the uh, circuit through the dielectrics and also we can add a short here so here we go hang on alright next clip this is killing me all right, so this is the Tesla range special arrangement with his caps, the hairpin circuit. I have the short on it, right? And um, you'll see. I'm gonna fire it up. My battery's. Down. So you see the spark gap firing. Shorted. It's the load's not engaged yet. not engaged or it is engaged you can see it's slightly lit so that load is lit even though it's shorted these load leads come off here as well now and you'll see that the spark gap is still firing now I'm going to take the shunt off the load really lights up and you'll notice, although it diminished a little bit, the spark gap is still firing, right? I'll have a look at that again. 
right? Now we have the short. The load is still wet. We have a spark gap. Shunts off. More going through the load. But we still have a spark gap firing. Very unusual. But uh, this load is in between the capacitor plates. Okay, I got one more clip to go. I want to show you the spark at the load. Okay, still got the Tesla arrangement, hairpin circuit. Firing it up. The load's lit. I'm going to disengage it or pull it apart. Right? Let's see if it's still in view. Okay, good. Now, with the other arrangement, as soon as I get this close enough, closer than the spark gap, the spark gap stops and an arc comes across here. With this arrangement, you'll notice there's no arc. There's never an arc, a high voltage arc. Right when I touch it, when, the me when metal touches metal, that's when there's a little spark, and that's it. There's never an arc like there was with the other arrangement. Very interesting, because with the other arrangement, the normal arrangement, there was a good arc. You know, when I get it close enough, you know, it's touching, you know, like, just when metal meets metal. Very interesting. Anyways, I feel although uh, this video here perhaps negates my video before, and that's fine. You know, that's why I'm making this video. Got up off the couch under my covers to make it because I thought this is hugely important to show you that I can light a light bulb with a normal arrangement. But, I also want to say, it's not to say that this Tesla arrangement isn't special. And we're going to try different things with the rotary gap, with different grounding arrangements, a la Tesla. And, uh, cap and ads, actually. And, um, go from there. Now, I can't remember if in that first clip I said that I disconnected from Google+. I was having problems, um, again and um, just had it so I disconnected um, my apologies it's their fault <laughs> this is their doing and actually to tell you um, I'm able to uh, navigate YouTube way faster I realized that when I disconnected it's it, the pages come up way faster maybe someone else has noticed that too Google Plus is just brutal. Anyways, they're ruining YouTube. But anyway, wanted to make this video and show you um, what I did. I lit the bulb underwater without the Tesla arrangement. 